boys, I know I showed you guys the last win and get in game. You've all seen that, so you know how these are going to end. So let's do some breakdowns. We had six other tournament games, and the game before that final 16 game was the final 32 game. That's how a bracket works. And we actually played Civil, who you guys know have been grinding tons of YouTube. You guys have sure have seen him somewhere in the Madden universe. We played him last year in the opening kickoff tournament, beat him last year in that tournament. So here we are. And the best thing about it is he knocked off Kiv, too. He played Kiv. Kiv beat me in the first tournament last year so i'm glad civil knocked him off and i got to face civil who i don't know if i've ever lost to in any game of madden so feeling good about this one uh but a lot of times people are like wow man uh dude you always be civil but that means he's due that means you know there's pressure on me to win the game you know this is someone i don't really lose to so i mean it's kind of you're expected to win so but he's a great player he's really been grinding the game make sure you guys check him out uh, he's another grinder. I always respect people that grind, whether it be content, whether it be competitive, whatever it is. And he's got his hand in everything. So here we go. And Dummy is your Madden Bro, what Champion. is up with these Always guys? Been super bummer, dude. Kicked off. Final 32. My video editor is a little bit under the weather, so I apologize. There's not any cool editing or anything like that in the video. But let's just do a breakdown. That's what it's about. As we kick the ball off first here to Civil, you see him being those. Detroit Lions jerseys uh, the Lions I feel like they're gonna fall on their face this year just me a lot of expectations for the Lions this year boys how do you guys feel uh, as well let me put this oh we're over here he starts with a little run right here yeah how do you guys feel about the Lions this year boys uh, I don't think the Lions have ever had this many expectations to win a division but we'll see how they do and we see civil in the bunch offset you guys know I like the blitz, so you see just tons of pressure right there. I'm um, one of the biggest things about uh, my blitz, and you can find it on Madden Turf. That link is below if you guys don't have the defensive ebook already. Is that one, the guy guarding the tight end is actually Deion Sanders up here. So I got to worry about a flat right away. So here, so I got to either like allocate somebody to the flats or man up the tight end or something because just by alignment, he's not going to get out that well. That's, I mean, if you're going to throw that pass. When I see that, I'm like, okay, dude, you got some stones. You know, he max protects right here. I, honestly, pretty good defense because we put Dion third and five. We put him in a yellow zone. I know I have to go guard the tight end right here. So I shoot that way. You know, that's a good throw, man. If you're going to throw that pass, live like that, God bless. And he throws away on first down here. As you see this play, I'm going to allocate, put a little flat zone over here to start the play for the most part. He's going to get a little run going. Boom. We, I mean, Ed Reed can't get juked right there. But that's a little too much. But we get to a third and three. He's going to no huddle. The thing about the no huddle might have been patched. You got to get your fingers ready. And we were ready there. What happened is, and he gets an over though. But what happens is, when he no huddles, I put Blunt in a flat zone or he's manned up on the tight end. But, oh my gosh, Dubby. But he actually pressed. He actually pressed rather than... If you guys watch this third and three, he pressed Ocho Cinco and then went to the flat, but he gets an overthrow. Fourth and three, we got two big downs here. We're gonna go flat zone. Uh, once again, flat zone man coverage here. Let's see what he got. He goes max protect right here. We got a flat zone. Ah, I ran out to the right. Part of me, like when they do hot routes to the right, I'm thinking curl right here, especially with off coverage. So I ran over for curl, but if I peel back to the middle right there, we could get a stop there early. So, I mean, he's already got like two fourth down conversions. So when you get somebody on fourth down like that on their first drive, I mean, that's definitely a confidence booster or it's a, uh, you feel good about yourself really. Like it's tough to give those up, but at the end of the day, if they're on fourth down on their first drive, it's going to be a long game. That's how I feel. First drive should always be like your easiest on offense because like they don't really know your route combos, what you want to do. If you're a runner, you're a passer, what plays you got. Now, when someone's running bunch, you kind of already got a feel for what they want to do. But as we get a big loop pressure there from Blunt, uh, he went max protect again. That's like his fourth play of the drive, max protect. So once people start max protecting, I feel like you have them by the cojones once they start turtling up and blocking everybody, you know, because then you can drop into coverage. You can do a whole bunch of things. As he quick snaps here, he finally gave me that's a great quick snap. But we get a big tackle by Sherman and we get to fourth and inches here. He's actually been playing with a little bit of slow tempo, and that time he actually caught me in a quick snap, and I fat-fingered my adjustment without a hard flat. I had a three-wreck. So we get a fourth in inches here. Now, this is a spot on the field where 
Uh, obviously, I want to get the ball, right? I want to stop him here, but I'm not going to allocate my entire defense to, like, I'm not going to run commit here because, you know, I don't want to give up a touchdown. Although we almost, ah, 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 ah. oh my goodness. That's tough. All in all, that's tough. That's, that's just, I mean, that's Franco being Franco, really. That's tough. So, like I said, that's like three fourth down conversions on this drive already. So, all in all, we're feeling pretty good here. Uh, he's going to audible down again. This is fine. This means you're scared. This means you don't want to pass. Who wants to pass when they're getting screamed at? RPO, yeah, I mean, good tackle. Yeah, this is this is when the rinky thing comes out here. For, first and goal. Let's see. Goes with a run. We get a great run defense. Warren Sapp sheds. Second and goal. And we're just blitzing all these linebackers. Good sheds. Just a fight of a drive right here. We got third and goal on the one here, boys. Goal line. He's going to come out in goal line. I feel good against goal line. But I also feel like I'm going to put a flat zone there. Oh, I got Bellator in the game. Bellator. And this what goal line sucks. <laughs> you get <laughs> your fullback dive gets hit for a loss of three. So like tough. Hell of a drive. Uh, I I would tell you guys don't run out of goal line. I really you know I really wouldn't ever run out of goal line. But people still try. So what do we get there, the boys? Does it? I, I know it says it at some point. What, how long that drive was? Maybe after the field goal. Probably at least double digit plays on that drive there. Maybe not if it doesn't score a touchdown. But a lot of plays, so I saw a lot of his route combos, a lot of what he wants to do. So that's a good thing, all in all. All right, I, I will tell you this game, he runs a bunch of different defenses, which is uh, none of them which I thought were good. Um, here goes a little cover three. Good job just dumping the ball off there to Hester. Yeah, so he's just in 3-3 normal right now. And we're going to try to go. He want to run cover three? All right, we're going to try to go cover three bomb early. I don't think this has ever worked against anybody with eyes, so we'll see. You know, three-man rush. I think he has a deep half over here. Oh, I got to hit. Yeah. So I don't think it's ever worked on somebody with eyes. But I had the read, which was the comeback route. But I don't really want to make that read. Right there, X. Boom. But good defense. And I did that because I had second and short. So now I have a third and three. So I can go ahead and try to get this third and three here. I want to go here. Yeah, he, this is when he's in a little over G here. I mean, just the worst, like, all in all, like, the worst bumping I just try to run corner route. He's just in a cover two. And this guy's on a corner route. He's getting bumped. And like, he just never really ran the corner. Like, he never really ran it. Well, this was good defense, like, uh, you know. So that guy, 21, actually bumped Jerry Rice and then guard the corner route. So, all right. So he's going cover two. We're just going to go stick here. And that time, that time he actually runs it. We get a great free form up and to the left. Big dot. You know, it's just the bumping, the man coverage is really RNG. And then once again, we're on the same play again. We're bagged that time. Run out, throw the ball away. Too much bumping right there. He's getting physical. He's he's pressing my outside receiver, which is normally the corner route guy. So we're going to switch it up. We're going to put the other guy on a corner route guy. So you can't let them key in on one receiver here. Yeah, just dump it off here. Nice little gain. Nothing crazy. We get a third and manageable, third and six. And he's going to try to go like my look of my defense. So I think that's heavy loop, heavy blitz. And we're able to just run. He doesn't get a press. And we're able to hit the corner out for free. Really. <clears throat> Once again, he's in like like my look of my defense. So like I said, just cover one, something like that. Get him motioning, get him moving. Might just run bait sweep here, honestly. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful, and we walk in the end zone. Beautiful, that's a beautiful, beautiful sweep. Running the end zone, so all that driving he did, all that to, to get three, we get seven. So, <laughs> good luck, dude. That's awesome. Uh, 
So for me, that feels great. There's nothing better than a rushing touchdown. Literally nothing better than a, than a rushing touchdown. All right, so I want a purple on the left. Maybe for that C route. Maybe for that comeback route. Beautiful pressure there. Absolutely screamed. One of the few plays where he only blocks one person. <clears throat> so if it's one of the few plays, he only blocks one person. We get, look at this pressure. One, two, three. He can't make a read that fast. And one, two, three, you know. So now, once I see that, I think, okay, he's got to go back to blocking everybody. So now I can be a little more, put some more zones out there. Or you see out there with a deep blue. I got a deep blue. I got a purple. I got double purples. So he's definitely probably uh, max protecting here. So I'm only rushing four now. So let's see. Uh, he still only blocks one. Beautiful. So that when I see that, I'm like, okay, you don't think you don't think the pressure is real if you're only going to block one. I want him max protecting because once they start max protecting, God bless. So we go. I put a purple zone out for that comeback route. He's been throwing to the left. I got a deep blue in the middle of the field. I have to guard the tight end though because there's nobody on the tight end. So I got to watch the tight end here. If he goes to the flat, if he goes to the corner route, I got tight end. Well, maybe I had someone on the tight end. Oh my goodness, that dude just got whooped. Ed Reed. He got absolutely annihilated. Corner route, Chad Johnson. I mean, he's beat by 20 yards. Good play. And now I'm like, okay, I'm getting too cute with the, getting too cute with the zones, getting too cute with the coverages or the, you know, mix my coverages and stuff. So sometimes you gotta get back to just blitzing. That was good defense right there. Second and ten is my son knocks something over. I don't know if you guys heard that, but good pressure again. He tried to throw over to the flats. And we got a third and ten here. We're gonna go like stock cover two, but blitz, you know. We gotta make a tackle here. Woolen, six foot four, fourth and inches. Does he know huddle this? He does. Right to the line. Make sure I got a hard flat. I'm gonna get a hard flat off here to the right. Oh, everybody's bagged here. Oh, but just good job. He routes, he routes Woolen right there. So Woolen had to make the tackle. Get up, no huddle. We had everything, man. I just took the first read. Great play there. I mean, we were set up for no huddle, but that was the last. Good good play. So that was a good drive. That was as, as bad as the first drive was. That was, I mean, he made some plays that drive. And we're down by three here. But we get the ball at half, and we get up out of it. No, we don't. Well, we get, to the, we get to the 33. That's good. So we're down by three. If we score a touchdown here and we get to half with a lead, we can double it up really quick. We can double it up really quick. Three man rush here. We have all day. Now I'll be honest with the boys. I got I had some controller problems here. I have an Elite 2 controller. And when I went to pass lead this one, I all I want is a pass lead left. A pass lead left and put the ball over by the numbers. But my the little giblets on the controller spun, so I didn't get a pass lead to the left, just a throw out there, and I had to hold Y to come back to the ball. Tough. I need DK to hold on to this. So like I say he's running a lot of cover two, but he's he's kind of got a man on that outside guy. So we get to the third and ten here. You know, over G, I don't think over G is, is a comp defense because it's simply because I can do that. Because you're not blitzing me. I can send out five. I don't care. Where's your blitz coming from? There's no pressure. Every Madden defense should be able to send immediate pressure and be able to play coverage. Here you're rushing three people like you just don't have a chance really. I mean just the best tackle animation too. I can't get a I can't get a nice little fall forward for Jerry Rice there. Uh, we're gonna go fourth and one here for the for the guap. What do I call? We gotta be a quick snap if we already went by it. Quick snap. Uh oh, nice read. Just a nice read. Quick snap corner strike. He actually tried to blitz this time. Yeah, we just quick snap corner strike high low. He goes for the corner and just wide open seam. Boom, Dotty. I'm trying to run a sweep here. Uh, like I said, I I am to the point where like I'm not cool with three, but like if we go to half tied and I get the ball, we get to double dip the chip right here. So I just gotta make sure he doesn't get the ball back. Really, here he goes a little cover three action again. 
I mean, this this honestly was low key lucky, but at the same time, it wasn't lucky because we got a, we got an in route here. I mean, in, in the perfect world, he keeps running here. Now I've been working on when I run this route combo to throw the Y to the sideline here, like right already. I should have let the ball go already, like, and throw it like almost over this guy's head. But then he hits somebody and stops. And that allows me to get the perfect playmaker up. High ball, boom, beautiful pass on the run. Metcalf inside the five. And we can use some time here. So, yeah, he's in a little dime normal. I think I just try to run. I would probably run stretch right. Yeah, why not? And he's going to run with him. Oh, stretch right should be walking touchdown right here. It really should. And it is. There it is, boys. Nice. Big time. Tried to take another second off the clock right there. That's big. 33 seconds. All we got to do is cover a kick. Devin Hester. I'm on Nolan Smith. And... I mean, just bad. I mean, I, I got to see, like, what happens here. This is Ed Reed. I'm on Nolan Smith and Bobby Wagner, I think. Like, I should be able to get out of here. Nolan Smith, Bobby Wagner, Ed Reed gets blocked by this guy. Sherman and Blunt. Like, I have I have goons right now. Now, right here, I, click, I got it. He does a good job of making me think he's going to juke. So I got to play the sideline more, and this isn't a touchdown. I just got to play the sideline. Look how, like, we got Nolan Smith, Blunt, Bobby Wagner, and my, all I got to do is make sure he doesn't get the sideline. This is bad user. It should have been a tackle at the 30. But I just, like, it a little hezzy got me a little bit. I just got to play the sideline. We let him get up the sideline, and then he scores a touchdown. Tough when you're playing good and you give up a touch, that kick return touchdown. That's tough. But we got time. Not really, but, you know, we got 11 seconds and a dream. 11 seconds and a dream. That's how we're going for bomb here. He probably won't give it to me, but I'm ready to dump the ball off to the running back if need be. Oh, we went up top. Can't believe we didn't catch this. Like, what are we doing? Did we not catch that? I feel like we need to, I feel like we really need to catch that right there. Now we'll try it again here for the boys. Oh, we get instant shedded. We'll try one more time. And we throw a pick. Before half. Uh, this is where you panic and just run back with Gaseki here. Ah. I could have fumbled that. Like trying to jump and jurtle in front of Franco. He could have fumbled that. So we played a pretty even half. You know, I... I the kick return hurt. It hurt. It was a kick in the nuts, that kick return. It was. Especially being up 14 to 10 and you give up a kick return. Uh, so all your advantage that you were going to have going in a half is gone. So here we are, you know. We're down by three now. We got we to tighten up. We got to get it done. And he's back in this over G. This time he tries to send pressure. We try to go for a big play here. Uh, but it was definitely bagged up. I could have hit the drag right there. But like I said... I was looking for a big play here. Speaking of big plays, Jerry Rice, Baja. Just like that. Touchdown, just just, just corner strike against cover two, just free. And this is where we really just, just this second half, we just ratchet up the defense for the most part. You know, we just, we're done. We're done being cute. We're just going to get after it here, boys. We're going to get after it. As he runs right there. Bang. Ed Reed, play of the game right there. We get the fumble. Now, this is what you got to do, boys. Now, once they get in this... Don't tackle battle. Don't tackle battle. Don't try to fight the battle. What you got to do is click on the next person and hold RB. So you see, that's what I do. This is the number. This is how you get fumbles in the game. They got rid of the hit stick. Shame on EA. 
This is literally how you get fumbles in Madden 24 and last year. You get them in a tackle battle with Warren Sapp. Don't spam A. Click on the next person and just jam RB. Ed Reed punches the ball out. We get a huge fumble right there. And that's, you know, we got to take advantage. You know, we got to take advantage. And that's one of the reasons why, why like, passing is, like, always superior to running because, like, you're running for a couple yards inside the tackles. Like, it's always been easier to fumble when you're running the ball because, one, you're going to take longer plays in in the drive. So the more plays you have on offense, the more chance you are to get hit and the ball stripped and things like that. So for me, that's why passing has always been paramount, really, or has always been the move. But if we score a touchdown here, we're in a great shape right here. Once again, he's going to a little cover zero look. So uh, we're going curls here. Don't really do this. Big freestyle move from the kids. Good defense. He guarded RB. Had everything kind of bagged up. Threw the ball away. I'm not taking a risk with the football right there. Third and 10. Might go quick snap here. We do. We go quick snap. Go for the absolute beam to the back of the end zone. Absolute beam right there. Quick snap, cover two. We get the outside release with Hester. High ball, free form, feet. Beam. Absolute beam right there. So now we're up. We're up 11 points. So we're feeling groovy. We're feeling great now. No big plays. He hasn't really hit a big play. You know, it's been a lot of plotting and going up and down the field. And, you know, but we feel good right now. No, we get an absolute scream and a sack from Bobby Wags. B Wags getting through there on the uh, B gap right there. Big scream. So he's nervous. We got a good job of just setting up on the no huddle, man. The no huddle got patched, but I'm telling you, it was skill gap to no huddle like this. Just being here, he no huddles. I'm already set up. Got everything done. He's manned up on the tight end. All you can do is high ball it, and you get a couple yards. You know, that is absolutely just just being ready for the, for the no huddle. So we get a third and 11 here. He flips right here. Third and 11. I'm up by 11 points. Feeling great. I think we're going to bring the dogs right here. We're playing zone behind it. A little cover three cloud, kind of. And we just absolutely scream at him. Absolutely scream. We send six. We got a, we got three deep blues and a cloud on the left. Absolutely just <laughs> the boys are home. We get a huge sack. Fourth and 20. He's going to go fourth and 20 here. Uh, I probably would do the same thing here. We actually send seven right there, and we get through. Blunt makes a tackle, so we're just we're gonna try to just cruise this one out here. Up eleven, field goal puts up us up fourteen. So getting the ball out of half was huge. As we came down, and and what we get, we got a touchdown. Then we get a fumble, we get a touchdown. Then we get a crazy stop, we get, and then we have the ball back. So just momentum right now is all on our side. Uh, as we get boom, we flip get a quick snap against cover three. We're inside the five right now Now it's time to just run the ball now I know I can get this to the fourth quarter even if I don't score a touchdown So if I get this to the fourth quarter and we're up 14 feeling great to move on Definitely a little stretch left 89. We got need better out of you right there Stretch left again Our boy fighting and this one Stretch left, but we'll go to the fourth quarter and I'm gonna kick this field goal with a smile on my face. Go up by 14 here and just keep playing defense. That's what it's about. Just keep playing defense, keep getting it done, and uh, keep screaming. Honestly, keep making a max protect right there. He goes max protect, tries to hit a corner out, get this, gets disengaged. Curl route, post route, beautiful yellow zone. Could have been a pick. Oh, my goodness. So this play, I stopped trying to man people up because, like, just switch it up, and I put a yellow zone in the middle of the field here. Beautiful yellow zone. Just, I mean, just perfect defense, really. And, I mean, Dion just, oh, that's a tough throw. That's a good catch, tough throw. Well, just making them work. Like I said, we got a max protecting every play now, so he's got nothing. Gets hit again. Tries to go corner out here. SWAT team. Get that out of here. Third and 10. Just my defense has just been stifling this second half. After the fumble, we've just been screaming and been on his head. Six-man rush or five-man rush. He goes corner out. I should have went deep blue there. That was a good play. I did a, I did a cloud. 
which is wild. But, you know, it worked to play before. That play, he called the right play, you know. That's what defense is about. I said, any tackle and bounce here is going to take 20 seconds off the clock, which is huge for the boys. Another throw away. He's 10 for 23. All right, just cover three. You guys see just a little cover three action. Like, you can do cover one, and people, like, man coverage is not good enough to just sit in man coverage that much. And emotions, it kind of screws me, but I'm quick enough to change all those adjustments. So now we're back into this. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. Curl, I need you to jump. I need you to jump for that. Time is running down. Here we go. Tries to go RPO there. Big tackle. Look at Hutchinson fighting and makes a tackle. So the clock is running here, man. Any time off the clock is great for us as a unit. Tries to go high ball there. Almost He did catch it, but he was out of bounds. So fourth and goal. This is for the game, man. He doesn't get this. The game is cooked. We're going to go man coverage, purple, yellow, purple. Nobody's on the running back here. Uh, Five-man or three-man rush. But we set it up like the blitz, so he doesn't know if we're blitzing or not. Always set everything up like the blitz. He blocks the tight end. I got this guy. He throws right here. Cameron Curl ends the game. Picked off. Just like that. That's about it, man. That was the game. I mean, we gave up the kick return. Second half, we scored a touchdown. We got a fumble. We scored a touchdown. We got a stop. We got a field goal. We got a stop. So we just really just took over in the second half between the fumble, the defense, everything. We're able to win that final 32 game. And you guys saw what happened in the next round. So let me know if you like these videos, man. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. We're really close to 50,000 subscribers.